start on the uh, northern side. Uh, that's why there was a wee bit of an error, and which is why we had to replay that one. So Aki starting on the uh, northern side while their opponents are 4S, who I do remind you only need the set to uh, make it to the next round, are starting down south. Now Aki 48, uh, as we uh, did mention, with a piece of artillery, uh, tier 8, uh, object 261. Yep, and they do have one T-32 heavy tank with the rest of their tanks being light. And yeah. on the opposing team, on the 4S team, they have opted for two heavy tanks with three AMX-13 light tanks and the rest of the two as expected to T-1, T-1s. Yeah, so essentially the only difference here is that, uh, well, uh, if 4S decided to go with two heavy tanks, one AMX-15 and one IS-3, uh, yeah, that's, that's about the only difference. Uh, because yeah, both teams opted for extra mobility here, so they're all going for uh, three AMX uh, uh, 13s out there. Mm -hmm. uh, now uh, we're gonna have to see if if uh, that uh, Object 261 can actually do some damage. As we've mentioned, it's one of the most precise uh, piece of SPG you can get from this game, so definitely a plus if you use it well. So uh, it's a lot's gonna be. Um, basically on player Wiss Ferry here. Yeah. A lot of it is going to be on him. Like, yeah, we just uh, took a look at his piece of artillery. Wiss Ferry in control of that Object 261. Yep. And a pretty standard opening coming out from both teams. Just kind of camping, or not, yeah, camping that west road. Yeah, from the Aki side, yeah. Yeah, and, and scouting that, that middle area. Well, then again, on the forest side, you definitely can't go, uh, well, just uh, charging uh, on your high horses, yeah. uh, considering, you know, that piece of uh, heavy artillery that uh, they've gone, they, they can't just be venturing um, in the uh, open field. Yeah. Also, they could count on the extreme mobility, like coming from those uh, AMX-13s, but because uh, Aki-48 also went for three AMX-13s, they can't risk that either. Yep, yep. Because on the open field, they would be out there. Yeah, definitely. They are just kind of camping. So actually on the forest team, I would expect like a railroad push, as a matter of fact. Because, uh, yes, those wagons can actually provide some cover uh, from uh, the Object 261. So, uh, yeah, quite, uh, well, uh, as expected, uh, 4S that decided to squat the eastern parts of the map here, uh, going alongside that railroad uh, as cover. So, uh, yeah, to protect their uh, heavy tanks. Mm -hmm. So right now, uh, yeah, we're at a stalemate position here. A little bit of movement. Uh, Aki 3 here with his AMX-13 uh, just trying to scout out the field. Oh, actually, all three AMX-13s uh, roaming around the field, uh, trying to scout out for heavy tanks uh, to give a player Wiss Ferry and his uh, uh, piece of SPG uh, some target. But uh, yeah, so far no luck, of course, because, uh, well, they probably know that their opponents are just squatting that rail. Right? Yeah, yeah, probably. I mean, if, if I were on the uh, on the Aki 40, uh, 48 team, I would probably just kind of push down that Western Railway because I know that um, the forest team is probably going to be camping that railway area, so we can. So I would probably and speaking go of for a flank. And speaking of which, we, we do have one scout here from uh, the uh, forest team that's getting really close to the enemy base. Now he was actually spotted. Yep, and the forest team now pushing up that eastern railway. The the uh, the Aki team now have to react to this. They can't just kind of sit on that western road because if yeah, they no, sit they can't. there, then they'll be they'll be way too far from action. Uh, and uh, right now we've got uh, Sam on fire's uh, vantage point. Yep. Yeah, from the 4S team, and uh, yeah, they're completely monopolizing uh, that railroad, of course. Because uh, yeah. you got that ledge, you got that kind of a uh, ridge, uh, kind uh -huh. of uh, on both sides of the railroad. So if you keep like to the eastern parts mm -hmm. of it, like you're pretty safe from uh, that uh, SPG fire. Yeah, definitely. And you actually have to be on the move as well, or else if you just sit there, then the archer will eventually find. Yeah, hit exactly. You. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if he if he's smart enough, like he will try to uh, uh, get to a better position and get in firing range. Yep. So right now, pretty conventional uh, start considering the uh, uh, tank choices that we've seen from both teams. We are uh, got a little over five minutes left. Still a uh, no of uh, yeah. Still no uh, confrontation as of right now. Both teams pretty much they know uh, where they stand at the yeah. moment. Now it's. The way I see it, it's going to be up to 4S to uh, make the push here, yeah, basically, definitely. because they do, they are uh, two sets to uh, uh, love, like up, too much, and uh, if they wish to take this risk, uh, they can. I'm not sure if they're going to do it, though, because uh, right now, IQ48 is pretty comfortably uh, camped in their area. Yeah, 
and I don't think, I mean, if I was for us, I would just kind of push up that railway because they are at a 2-0 lead right now. So They are, and they do have that one extra uh, heavy tank as well. Mm -hmm. So if they coordinate this well, mm -hmm. uh, it could actually be very, very quickly and well done. And so far, in terms of execution, 4S has definitely shown better quality. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll have to see, like, those AMX uh, uh, 13s uh, playing peekaboo here. Yep. Those two scouts in that northeastern corner on the railway. And the heavy kinda. tanks are actually coming up now. The heavy tanks are actually coming up. Well, no. Spoke slowly. Slowly but slowly. surely. <laughs> we still have four minutes and a half on the clock. Uh, hopefully something significant is going to happen. Yep. So actually this AMX-13 now spotting that... Hev that uh, Nobody's like daring to crest that railroad yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, <laughs> it means absolute carnage. Well, so they actually so might get a shot off here, but he does not. That AMX-13 is way too fast for those heavy tanks to hit and this artillery piece just trying to line up a shot still. Yeah, exactly. Wiz Ferry trying to get a peek, but the S... Ooh, and actually he did fire a shot. Uh, I which believe was that did missed. Hit. Yes. But as, as long as, uh, as the forest team stays on the um, eastern uh, part of that railroad, like right next to... Um, well, basically on, on cover of that ridge, uh, the, the that piece of artillery is going to be harmless. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you can't go for a sneaky capture either because you've got way too much mobility on both fronts. Uh, with mm -hmm. those uh, three MX-13s, uh, pretty much, you can't really hope for that either. Yeah. So a little bit of more camping. They, I think, I, I don't know. I don't know why the forest team isn't pushing out right now. I well, think because they can't really risk it. At the same time, if they commit their heavy tanks, all their heavy tanks, to uh, basically capturing the enemy base, they leave themselves completely wide open. Let us not forget that Aki Forty Eight do also have three AMX Thirteens. Mm -hmm. So you can't really oh, commit. Oh, nice shot coming out. Oh, definitely a nice shot. Yeah, coming yeah. Out. Donkey's actually Donkey's gonna, gonna try and take out this out. tier eight. Oh. He does slightly ram him, doing a little bit more damage. One of these tanks is going to go down. Actually, I think I think Donkey is going to go down right here. Donkey yep. did go down, and uh, two AMX 13s are gone now oh, wow. on the uh, 4S side. Yep. Uh, on the uh, Aki 48 side, yes, sorry. So Aki once again, they're pretty looking good for uh, you know 4S uh, right now. As a matter of fact, right now they all they got to do is just maintain the position, and just by the tier point advantage, they would win this. Yep, exactly. And actually, three tanks now going down on the Aki team. One tier one, one tier eight, and another tier eight going down. Yeah, all, all the AMXs yeah. are gone. All the uh, light AMXs are gone on the Aki 48 side, so uh, that's uh, pretty much going to do it. Yeah, it looks pretty detrimental for the Aki team. Now, it, I don't think they can pr they can come back from this. You know, oh, that, they that certainly that can't. That one artillery piece, you know, without that, without scouts and without that kind of front <laughs> line, you can't do anything. You can't do anything. Yeah. And uh, he's going he's gonna to be lucky if he even gets one kill at this point. And oh, uh, he, he actually got a kill. He <laughs> did. Speak of the devil. Speak of the <laughs> devil. Indeed, he did take out one of those uh, AMX 13s, but uh, still, it's not going to be enough. Yeah, I don't think I don't think the uh, Aki team have enough firepower to, to take this match. And uh, right now, yes, uh, we've got uh, player uh, 61 Shiki's uh, vantage point. But actually, I mean, if the Aki team plays this perfectly, they could actually potentially win because both teams have two tier eights left. They do. Yeah, they do. And the because and, and pretty much you know in these matches the tier one. That losing that uh, extra AMX uh, thirteen was was pretty crucial. Uh, actually, yeah. on the four as they were a little too hasty, I think. All they had to do was just camp this out. And now a uh, sixty one Shiki who's being surrounded, as a matter of fact. Yep. So actually, this, this tank is probably going to die right yeah, here. Yeah, exactly. He's done for. Well, He's he, done for. He might take one with him though. Uh, will he though? He's down. He, he might. If, if he, he gets might, one he more might, good yeah, shot. Yeah, just, just one more. Just one oh, more. Oh, if he gets one more it. penetrating 5 shot. 5%. Oh, he actually, did. No, but the artillery came in with the backup. He taking did. Out that shot. He did. So uh, beautifully done uh, here. Beautifully done. But oh, he's man. got a sliver of life left. Oh, actually. Can he live? Can he survive this? We've got 50 seconds left on the clock. He's got 5% uh, left of hit points. If he's taken out, then it's game over. Yep. So if he's taken out, he missed a shot. But this is actually also coming down to the base capture. If... If the uh, the red team can can capture the base, then they will win. And actually, this is actually this, this is, gonna is this is yeah. really crucial. He's got five percent left. He's doing an amazing job surviving oh, this, but now he he's gone. So.